Hello, Veronica. It's Mr. Sean again here to read another story to you. Hope things are going well for you and your family and maybe getting outside and enjoying some sunshine and playing with your friends and maybe your sister. So here's today's story, Sydney's Glasses by Renee Carver. Yeah, a new author, Renee Carver is the author. Do you wear glasses? I do. They certainly help me to see and read what I need to. It's always good to be able to see. So let's see what they say about Sydney's glasses. Sydney never remembered to clean his glasses. At first, his lenses were bright and clean. They could they they sparkled in the sun. Sydney could see everything very well. Then one of his lenses got a smudge of mud on it. Then the other lens got half of a fingerprint on it. Then Sydney tripped while carrying his lunch, and both lenses got sprayed with drops of milk. He's getting all kinds of stuff on his glasses. Uh, they do get lots of stuff on them. Sydney couldn't see as well as he could before, but he could still see okay. He didn't clean his glasses. Oof. Then one of his lenses got a blotch of mustard on it. Then the other lens got a thumbprint on it. Then Sydney dropped his glasses behind the couch, and both lenses got covered in dust. Oof, lots of dust under that couch or behind the couch. I don't know how he's going to see with all that stuff on there. Now Sydney couldn't see very well, but he could still see some. He didn't clean his glasses. Then one of his lenses got a smear of chocolate on it. Then the other lens got a paw print on it. Then Sidney poked his head under his bed to find his baseball mitt. And both lenses got covered in cobwebs. Oh, yeah. You know what cobwebs are? See the spider making this web? Those are called cobwebs. Even though it's a spider web, we call them cobwebs. Look at his glasses. Holy smokes. He's got all kinds of stuff on him. I don't know how he sees it all. Now Sidney could barely see at all. However, it was time for his baseball game, and he was late. He didn't clean his glasses. Uh-oh, this does not sound good for Sidney. He's going to play baseball with glasses he can hardly see out of. Sidney stood in the outfield. His lenses didn't sparkle in the sun. They were covered with gunk. Uh-oh. Somebody hit a fly ball to him, it looks like. Let's see what happens. Crack! The batter hit the ball hard. Sidney squinted up at the sky. He saw the ball sailing over his head. Uh-oh. Let's see if he can catch it. Sidney ran backward. He couldn't see the ball. He couldn't see anything. His glasses were too dirty. Uh-oh. What do you see here behind him? Looks like a pond. He's heading for the water. Let's see what happens. Splash! Sidney fell into a pond. He scrambled to his feet. He rubbed his glasses on his wet uniform and put them back on. So what do you think happened now? He looked down. Floating next to him was the ball, but at least he could see again. Yep, he got all the gunk off because he fell in the water. And they make special cloths also to help your clean your glasses. I have to do it every day pretty much to get the stuff that gets covered with oil from my face and dust and oh all kinds of stuff gets on glasses so 
He got a lot of stuff on his glasses, more than most people, I think. But he got him. He got it clean, inadvertently, which means unexpected. He didn't expect to fall in the, the water, but that got his glasses clean. Why isn't Sydney able to catch the baseball? Why do you think? Couldn't see the ball at all. His glasses were what? Too dirty. Whew. Why can Sydney finally see better at the end of the story? Well, he rubbed his glasses on his wet uniform. That got all the gunk off of him. So how do you think he felt after he fell in the water? Well, depends on if it was a hot day. It might felt pretty good to fall in the water. Or if it was a cold day, it'd be pretty chilly. You might want to take the uniform off and get some dry clothes, but if you're in the middle of a game, you really can't do that. So hopefully it was a warm day and he was able to keep playing and get dried off quickly because they, his uniform got dried out. Well, that was a fun story by a new author, Renee Carver. Let's see if she has more stories as we move forward, continuing to read these stories. I hope you are getting these stories and are able to listen to them. I enjoy recording them for you. All right, Veronica, until next time, bye-bye.